Hello everyone, my name is Idiotic Synergy, and today we're going to talk about the new Nurgle update. Well, Nurgle Demons update. Basically, the Plague Bearer has been buffed a little bit. The leadership is a bit of an issue, but I wonder if because they're Plague Bearers, they might have like mindless horde, like with Poxwalkers, where they don't need to take morale, or if you bring a Banner Bearer, then they don't need to do morale at all. Because leadership 6 for a horde is really quite bad. But saying that, it's uh, toughness 5, 2 wounds, and 2 attacks per model with the uh, leader of the pack, I assume, having 3 attacks. So it's quite good. And also demon save is your standard 4 up in 4 up ranged attack and 5 up in melee. So... It's your bog standard plague bearer, really, but it's been buffed up a little bit in the toughness and attacks and also wounds. It's just the leadership is a bit iffy. Also, I need to know if they have old school disgustingly resilient or not. I doubt it, but it would be interesting to see if they have some variant. But the thing I want to talk about most today is the Beast of Nurgle. Because it is the most broken thing I've read for some time. Grotesque regeneration for the Beasts of Nurgle is fucks. At the end of each phase, if a model in this unit has lost any wounds but was not destroyed, that model regains all of its lost wounds. Also, it can blow up on a 6, but that's not the important one. This is Grotesque Regeneration. What sort of meth were they smoking when they come up with this? Because it's now got seven wounds, toughness six, got a demon save, and might have old school disgustingly resilient or the new version where it's uh, minus one damage. Uh, it's like a minus one damage buff where if the model gets hit with a damage two weapon, it only does one wound. Uh, but even so, it's the most janky rule, because the reason I'm going off about this is because it's each phase. Not turn, just phase. So that means, it, so that means if, say, it lost four wounds in the psychic phase, then in, then afterwards, it just regens all of its wounds back. And then in the shooting phase... If it's lost six wounds, then it just automatically gains seven wounds back at the end of that phase. And with the melee phase, then it just... You you have to focus fire on this particular model. But the thing is with Beasts of Nurgle is that you can currently take them in a, in a squad of nine of nine. You can take a giant squad of nine Nur of Beasts of Nurgle. Now, I've got a feeling that might be cut down to size for it to be balanced. But even so, this would make it a pain in the ass to fight against. Because unless you don't, unless you focus all your attention on the Beast of Nurgle, and it, and it needs to die in that phase, then you're fucked. Also, it's quite good in, in attacks. It's very good in attacks. It's got six. It's no longer it no longer has d6 attacks. It's just got a flat six attacks. Yes, I know it hits on fours, but it also mentions ballistic skill, which they don't have a ranged attack. So I wonder if they're gonna get like some sort of spit weapon where they just spit and yeah, that's that's horrible. That is horrible. Grotesque regeneration, man. That's brilliant. I hate it, but that's brilliant. And also, it does mean, with demons getting updates, I want to know what the uh, what the giant, uh, not Beast of Nurgle, the Great Unclean One can do in 40k. God, that, that would be the biggest pain in the ass to shift. If at the end of each phase, the beast of uh, the uh, great unclean one can regenerate d6 mortal wounds at the end of each phase, that would be broken, or it would have grotesque regeneration. God, that 
That would be fucking horrible to fight against. Yeah, if it had, like, grotesque regeneration as well... Great Unclean Ones have, like, 11 plus wounds or something stupid like that. So just fighting it would be a massive slog. <laughs> Jesus. But, you know, it's a cool rule. I just know that I I want us now just by a giant horde of beasts of Nurgle, just so then you can just shove them at the enemy. It's like, oh, you have to kill one, but I've got eight more behind him. Mwahaha. <laughs> You know, be really evil. Also, in other news, the tree's been updated. I, I never use uh, the tree because I I like models that I can move. I don't like the idea of just plonking down a train piece and going, yep, that's my unit. I, I like moving my models. But it's, it's got an interesting couple of rules. Uh, Shroud of Flies, basically any demon, uh, Nurgle demon unit, Excluding vehicle or monster units. Ha! Huh. Would the Beast of Nurgle have the monster keyword? Hmm. Anyway, so, say Plague Bearers and Nurglings, if they're within six inches of this model, then it's minus one to hit. Because it's like flies in the way. And the Plague Bell Chime. In your command phase, you can select one friendly Plague Bearers Infantry Core unit within six inches of this model, and if you do so, roll 76s for each six, return a one destroyed model to that unit, with its full wounds remaining. Uh, hmm, that one. Six. I, I guess it makes sense. I would kind of like to see, though, it be a five or a six, because... The odds on getting sixes on each dice is very low. I say that, but it's Warhammer. It's incredibly janky. I've seen people roll seven sixes in a row before. <laughs> oh, dear. But, yeah. I Maybe it should have been a five or a six. But, anyway. Uh, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. I just wanted to make this quick little video. Because this Beast of Nurgle are bloody broken. They're broken. Plague Bearers are alright. Uh, they're alright. It's just leadership has me slightly worried. Because morale tends to be a big pain in the ass with Horde armies. Especially Nurgle Horde armies. And the tree is a tree. I, don't, I, like, the, I like the design of it. I just never use it personally. I want to know what Nurglings do. I wonder if Nurglings will get plus one to toughness, because then they can be toughness free. They can be the same toughness as a guardsman. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, that's enough of me rambling. I don't really talk about rules that much because I don't play competitively. It's just with the Beast of Nurgle, it's fucking broken and I love it. I, I, I like it. It's janky as shit and I've got a feeling it's going to be patched. But, for now, it's a really interesting role. I just... I, if I was in charge, I would turn it into, like, D6 regeneration rather than you regen... Whether, at the end of your phase, you just regain all wounds, have it be a D6 or 3 plus D3. You know, just so then it's slightly more balanced, because... If you've spent all your time in melee phase and you wounded it six times... And then all of a sudden, it, next phase, it just regenerates all of its wounds back. It, oh God. Especially, especially in the fighting phase, because once you're done with your fighting phase, it's your opponent's fighting phase. So then, it would regen all of its wounds. Yeah, it's fucking janky as shit. I love it. I love it to bits, but I can see how it would be annoying. And I would be an arsehole, but I want to start an army of nothing but beasts of Nurgle. Just have nine of them. Just nine. <laughs> just just have giants, a giant horde of beasts of Nurgles. Like, yep, push them up. Just kill everything. That would be fun. Anywho, I've been Idiotic Synergy. I hope you enjoyed this video. You can subscribe if you want. 
you can, I don't know, go to my Kofi and donate. If not, then that's cool because I write daft stories. And you can look at them if you want. And th yeah, that's it. See you later and take care.